Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to uh, work on our bridges. Um, so what I actually want to do though is I want to make some more foundations first. I was messing with this earlier. Um, oh, no. I want four of those. I was messing with this earlier and I was starting the bridge from the from the ground and that that part was fine but i was having some weirdness you know then trying to get the gates and everything oh well look at you bacon delivery um trying to get the gates and uh the palisades and all that kind of stuff lined up after i had uh, you know set the bridge so i decided well let's uh take that all back down and try uh, and do this with foundations instead. So, that's what we're going to try and see if that works better. Let's hop on in here. Grab these foundations. Okay, so, what we want to do is grab the foundation. And we want to make sure we're pointing due west, so that way everything stays nice and straight and square. And why don't we... Go with this. And we'll put one there. One there and one here. Probably, yeah, we're probably going to want one more. So let's go make one more foundation. Okay. So the bridge will come off this center piece here. I guess I need to grab that. And while we're here, let's also grab the gate and the two walls. I had those uh, from previously. And here, we'll take all of these stone floors. We might, uh, well, yeah, we're going to probably need... Um, a ramp on the other end. Because I'm not planning on putting foundations on the other end. Okay, so let's start putting these out until it starts crumbling. Okay, that's fine. But before we go any further with this, what I want to do now is I want to put the gate in. Does that snap there? Sort of, kind of snaps. Not precisely, but sort of, kind of. All right. Um, make sure we're pointing west on the compass so it's nice and straight. And then probably right about there-ish, maybe? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Whoops. Okay, so let's come back here, and now we'll grab the walls, and swing that around to there. <coughs> hmm. Okay, what if we, what is, what's it do on this side? Yeah, see, it's, it's, um colliding. Can we set this like in free mode instead then? Uh, I mean I suppose the other option is just to put stone stone walls up there. They're not going to be as strong as the palisade. I don't know that I like the idea of 
Um, well, okay, hold on. If that hooks in there, let's go around this way. That goes to there. Okay, nothing's going to get through there. Now, can we... If we come out this way... And attach that to there... Wasn't that working before? How come it's not working now? Why did that change? I don't understand why that changed. Now it doesn't want to work anymore. It used to work, now it doesn't. Uh, well, balls. <laughs> oh, oh, it's because I'm standing too far out. Okay, I got you. And now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, so that one goes a little bit past the stone wall on that side. Um, so if we wanted the angle to be even on both sides, we'd have to bring this one out to here. Like, about that. Okay, that's really close. Whoop. So the question now, though, is... Uh... Yeah, I guess... I guess that's okay. What do we do about this? I guess we put a stone wall up there to block off this gap. I mean, well, yeah, you guys saw that pig standing right here, so that could definitely be breached. But we should be able to fix that with some stone walls, I think, if it'll let us clip it in there. Let's just find out what happens. Yes, it will. Okay. Um, oh. Okay, so that's coming off of the foundation for the pump house. The thing I probably am not going to like about that, though, is it's... Kind of jank looking there. So if instead we put it on, uh, yeah, like this. Yeah, I, I think I like that better. Plus it moves the wall up higher, which may, might make a difference, might not, I don't know, in terms of keeping it protected. How's our plan? Oh, we already got carrots. Look at that. Nice. Let's pick these now and get them replanted because I don't get a big yield from carrots. Are you guys done? What about you? Yeah, you're done. Okay. Uh, these carrots are also finished. Those we have to hand water. I'll eventually get rid of these. These low-end um, crop plots, though. What about the corn? Not quite there yet. Let's just rewater all of these. Okay. Back to this. Oh, actually, we better go put our produce away. At it. Let's fill up our canteens. Wait, what? What happened to my other canteen? I just lost my other canteen. What happened to it? Oh, we need to cook this up, too. I had two. I only have one now. 
I don't see it dropped on the floor. I've been robbed. What the heck? I don't have a spot for a canteen. Did it like go outside? Um, actually, no, we're gonna have to go this way. Oh man, this is framey. Fall down here at all? And it's not inside. No. Well, I just lost a canteen. I don't know how. I have no idea how that happened. Stupid, stupid game. <sighs> all right, whatever. Let's just keep going. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm liking this. I think this works. This works okay. Um, all right, so now what we want to do here is we want to get some pillars. Oh, I left them back inside. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, so let's grab these pillars. And we still have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the ramp. I think we're going to probably need a few more of these too. So I don't know, let's make, because we're going to do this on the other side too, not just this side. Let's make a few more of these. Here, we'll just grab those four for now. Okay, so what we want to do with the pillars now is we want to... Oh, they don't have a reference for snapping. Uh, now they do. Okay. But I want to move... out to... Can we get away with coming out this far? Let's pick this one back up. Let's grab the roof pieces. And... Is that going to work? Yep, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so now what we'll do is... Two, three... This one will probably start to crumble. Yep. So let's go to here and to there. Uh, I think I just accidentally put one underground. Seriously? Well, we're not getting back, getting that one back. And then this ramp here, uh, we'll, we'll turn into stairs, and we want it to go there. There we go. Okay. So we just need to make one more roof piece. Hmm. That was weird. Uh, no, it is, it's slowly, slowly starting to crumble. Okay. So that means, well, get out of here. That means we're gonna need to put another set of pulse posts in. What do we got coming in? Minor showers, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's put some posts, I guess, then on the corner of these guys here. Okay. There. That should fix that.
Yeah, it should be fine now. <clears throat> All right, you guys, we got our, our bridge, our west side bridge done. I might, at a later date, uh, put some rails on it too, but that's going to be pretty expensive, so uh, we're not going to worry about rails for now. I still might ultimately in enclose... Well, nah, I don't know if I want to enclose the whole island in Palisades. For one thing, animals can still spawn on the island behind the walls, so from a defensive standpoint, it doesn't make sense to do that. Um, I was thinking more for aesthetic reasons, but... Then, you know, then it also blocks your view, though, so... I don't think we'll be doing that. Let's pick these crops here. Okay, so we're essentially going to do the same thing on this side. However, things are going to be a little bit different on this side because if we go due east, I mean, we still could go due east. It's just going to be a lot longer. We'd have to aim for there. But we would bypass that bank. Or we started on this side and, well, it's still going to just barely hit the side of that bank. So it'd probably be better to have it come in through here. The other option is not to go due east, but line it up more here. So it's going across the shorter span of the water. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to give that some thought. Let's turn this other fish into some of that. Some of this and some of that. Crispy bacon. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we need to eat too. Uh, do we have pastries for more pie? No, I need to go out in harvest some wheat. I don't have any more flour, so we'll just have a fish curry and a berry pie and our usual crispy bacon. Okay. Okay, so let's think about this. If we go due east... We're going to have a much longer run, and it's not going to be kind of in the middle of this uh, beach here, which could make things kind of weird, you know, for putting the gate and stuff down. The other thing we could do is instead have the bridge out here, or even possibly have one coming out here. We do go, you know, uh, to the north quite a bit. Um, well, more to the northeast. So that would be going to the north there. But I like the idea, though, of, of blocking this off, too, so... Animals can't just swim over here and walk right up the bank. Not that I let them, but, you know, if I'm not here or something. So I'm kind of thinking we aim for that bank there rather than, you know, try and go all the way over there because that's just going to be a super long run. Plus it'll square things up a little bit better with the beach. So I think that's how we're going to do this. Okay. So... Let's start once again with some foundations. 
how many can we make? Five. Okay. I think we're going to need at least five to do this. Maybe even six. So we're going to have to go get some more resources to make that happen. Okay. So, let's grab this foundation here. And the trick here is going to be to get it so it's more or less on the same level as that bank there. I mean, if it's down a little bit low, you know, we can we can probably work with that a little bit, but it'd be better for it to be a little high than a little low, though. Hmm. This is right about the center of the beach here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in there. And that one there. And that one there. And that one there. Now let's pick these back up. And reset them along there. Okay. We probably do want another one more foundation in that spot too, I think. What are we short? Nails. We can make more nails. In fact, we have a hundred nails right there. Look at that. It's almost as if I planned it that way. <clears throat> we are getting low on stone, um, but I might have some more stone in the cement mixer. Oh yeah, we got lots of stone. Let's grab three more stacks of that. There. Okay, now, uh, probably what we want to do here now is I'm thinking. Guess I don't have the concrete ramps in my inventory. I thought I did. Okay, grab those. In true old guy style, I'm making this up as I go, ladies and gentlemen. Making this up as I go. I think this is going to be too far to the left. So, we'll make the bridge here. And we'll just kind of come down off of it this way. It's going to bother my OCD a little bit that it's not going to be square with the other side, but I think my OCD is just going to have to suck it up. Okay, so let's start building out this way. And that one's starting to crumble. We are going to need some more um, pillars, too. Okay, so now, like we did before... Oh, why isn't that snapping? It should be snapping. Oh, now it is. Okay. Oh, it's like it's not all the way down on the ground or something. I'm like seriously lagging here. Okay. 
So grab these. I know these fish are like tearing me up. All right, where are you at, you little bastards? Come here. Oh, for Pete's sake. Lag is killing me, literally. Why is it lagging so bad? <laughs> this is like terrible. Okay. Did we get rid of the fish? Where am I even at? I'm like completely disoriented. Nope, there's another one right there. Okay, so we want to put... Good God, what is going on here? Okay, put that there, and that one there. Okay, we're going to have to make some more pillars. Okay, we're also going to need some more floor pieces, so we can make six more of those. Let's make six more. And didn't I just eat some fish curry? How come I don't have the buff? I don't know. Let's eat it now. There we go. Wow, we blew through all those nails that fast? Goodness gracious. All right, let's make another batch of 100. all of these on my toolbar here. There. Now it should be stable. Okay. I have no idea why I'm so on laggy down in the water. Okay. So, what we're going to have to do now is... Keep building it out from here. Okay, now let's put those there, it is loud out here, okay, that's good, and we ran out of pieces, but it looks like we got the height pretty good, <laughs> and I, I can't tell you how loud this is in my ears right now, it's just nuts, okay, well we gotta go make one more Maybe two more actually ceiling pieces. Get rid of some of this storm exposure too. Kind of bad for the health. Okay, so I think we need two more of these. And a couple more fish we can turn into more fish curry. thinking about maybe doing some, something else here too with some more ramps so let's grab a couple more of those oh we might as well sleep could have should have already done that wasn't thinking all wrapped up and getting this done it's gonna be about time for us to go out and get some more wood yeah we're getting pretty low on wood let's split this stack And it's morning. I mean, that's almost perfect. <laughs> uh, but let's let's put a ramp in there anyway, just because 
That way it's actually connecting it. Got a couple trees of blue down. You know, we need wood anyway. Um, so I think I'm going to actually cut these trees. Okay, so I uh, got all those trees, or mo <clears throat> most of them anyways, cut. And uh, kind of actually makes a little bit of a, a clearing too there, which is fine. So let's go on back and get the gate put up on this end now and see how that comes together. I'm starting to worry, though, that it might be a little too close over here, but let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's put... Um, uh, actually, put all the wood in there for the moment so we can make the palisade thingies. Uh, we're going to need nails and... Here, we can make one gate now. <coughs> and then probably going to need at least two... Uh, two walls. So let's make another hundred nails. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, the other thing I was going to do with the ramps was I was going to... Uh, yeah, I was going to do this. Not sure if I'll do that over here, but I wanted to at least have a little bit of a wider uh, thing to come down with on there. Okay, so... Um, let's get this out. Alright. This is going to be tricky. Well, no. I guess we can do it from back here. What direction is this facing? It's basically... a degree and a half from east. Okay. So we wanted to go there, and then it's kind of hard to tell if that's right in the center, but at least it's going to be pretty square. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Now, let's go out onto the bridge. And what we want to do is attach that to there and then swing it over this way. Um, that's as close as it's going to let me get it. And then this one... I get this one's probably going to look better if we just keep it straight, I guess. Well, actually, you know what, though? Hold on a second. As far as I know, the animals in this game can't jump. So it's not like they're going to be able to jump that gap there. How does this look from back here? What in the heck is going on? Every time I look, something must be loading in when I, like another chunk or something, every time I get to that point. I, I think for aesthetic reasons, more than functional re- oh. Well, okay, yeah. Let's just do that. I think it, it looks better aesthetically. Well, except for, can we get it down at the same level as the other one? Because now this one's sticking up high on the other end. We got a bear. Yeah, like this. And then we'll just kind of make it flush with the wall there. Like that. Yeah. All 
You see that bear anywhere? Yeah, it's got to be loading in another chunk when I get, it, get over here. That's the only explanation. Oh, there's a Jaguar. Let's see if that... Let's see if that shot will draw a bear over there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. You know, the whole the whole point of the gate and the palisade is just to prevent animals from running across the bridge to get on the land anyways. Um, they have a very hard time getting up over there, but they, they still can. Uh, at least the jaguars, I've seen them jump up that. A bear probably would not be able to get up there, though. But I believe I mentioned this earlier. It's, it's kind of a moot point from the standpoint that animals can just spawn right on the island anyways. So again, it was mostly just to prevent them from getting onto the island coming across the bridge. And I like the way that it looks, too. I think it looks cool. All right, is that going to attract a bear or not? Come on, bar. I don't see anything coming in. All right, well, let's go recover our very expensive arrow. <laughs> Trunk load. It's If that's what's causing that, it's pretty obvious that it doesn't keep the chunk loaded. Once you're out of it, it, like, immediately unloads it. Okay. Yeah, this will make uh, getting off and on the island much nicer now than having to always swim across every time. I like it. I like it. We did good today, guys. We did good. Okay, so how close are we to the next level? We're almost to the next level. And um, did I already learn the... Uh, the bench that lets us... Yeah, this. I did. Okay. Can we make that? Advanced alteration. Let's see if we can make that, because I want to get a scope on my rifle, among other things. So, we probably make that in here. Advanced alteration bench. Oh, yeah. We need electronics. And uh, we're going to need some more steel, too. But... Do I have iron in here? I can't remember. Nope, no iron in there. I have some iron ore, but I kind of want to hang on to that for... Uh, for making the composite paste stuff. We probably don't need 150, though. Okay, let's... um. We'll just keep 50 in there for now. Oh, I need to turn the, the Jenny on upstairs. How's the fuel on this one? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so when this storm is over, what time is it? Yeah, oh, it's still morning. When the storm's over, we're going to jump on Liberty Mutual and we're going to run over to our cop <clears throat> excuse me, our copper drill and grab whatever copper we have over there because uh, we you know, we have to we need more electronics before we're going to be able to make this thing. And copper is as usual what we're pretty much out of for all intents and purposes. All right, so I'll see you guys after the storm. Thanks. Um, I'm a noob. I could have just put these right in here uh, to make the steel bloom without smelting him first, but wasn't thinking. Um, let's grab some coal out of here. And that's still not going to be enough, though, I think. The other thing is, I can't explain this. I opened a fridge. 
I did a sort and all of a sudden my other canteen reappeared in my inventory. Or maybe it was there all along and I just missed it and I'm blind. Or I don't know. I can't explain it. All I can say is my canteen is back now. And that's all I have to say about it because that's all I can say about it. <laughs> but I'm confused. Uh, but it is back. So, all right. Yay us. We have our canteen back. Um, all right. Let's, uh, yeah, screw this storm. Let's go. I'm going to jump on Liberty Mutual and go grab some copper. Probably need to put some food in there, trough. Here, you follow me. Let's go. You coming? Chunk load. Oh, there's a new Jaguar right there. He'll never catch us. Not in a million years. You can actually outrun pretty much anything in the forest, even on a buffalo, as long as he's got enough stamina. Let alone on one of these guys. So my thoughts on the on the mounts in the game up to this point are if you you know if you put all the points into husbandry particularly the ones to make them tougher and give them more stamina make them faster then they're adequate it does make a difference um it's jaguar over there but they're still not spectacular. If you don't put any points into husbandry, they're just way, way too weak. I'm just feeding him with some berries here. Uh, we're probably going to have to take that jag out because he's right where we need to go. Nice hit. I didn't didn't kill him though. Is he stuck or does he not see where I am? All right, we killed him. Are you following me, dude? And the follow command, you have to reset it. There's something growling down there. Oh, it's another jag. Two jags. Three jags. Good lord, there's three jaguars down there. Look at that. That's some XP, baby. All right. Where do we drop that guy at? Somewhere over... Here he is. Too much XP to pass up. See that that I don't get it. There's no way that any of those shots should have missed. And they completely missed. I mean M I S S miss. Oh, there we go, we got our level. Something is bad wrong in Denmark here, Bobby. <laughs> I can't explain it. There's no way. Absolutely, you can't tell me that those three shots should have missed. Nope. Absolutely can't tell me that those three shots should have missed. I don't get it. And then sometimes I can take a shot from 500 yards away. Not really, but, you know, a long ways away. And it one-shots them. Just don't get it. Where'd that other jag go? Oh, he's back over here, right? Oh, we took him down. No kill cam. And I hear a crocodile. Oh, there's the croc right there. Hey! 
Don't eat my pig. Oh, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't eating our pig. I shot him for nothing. No, actually not for nothing. He's a crocodile and he's very dangerous. Got some white meat out of the deal too. All right. Give me some bacon. And maybe some more white meat. Okay. That works. Okay. Let's get back to what we came down here to do. That was just XP for the taking, though. So the last time I came down here and checked this, I saw no evidence that any animals had messed with it. Um, yeah, see, it's 100% durability. Ooh, look at that. All right. Uh, three, three and a half stacks. That's not so bad, but it's been a few days since I've been out here, too. Okay, that's, that's not bad, actually. Um, you know, free power. Just need sunshine. Fantastic. There's another jag. All right, well, let's go. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to go back to the base. Um, turn all this stuff into electronics. And then, um, bring you back to, oh, we'll start the next episode. Oh, you know what? I should grab some wheat while I'm out and about, too. Woohoo! Um, we'll basically get ready to, to make the attachment bench or whatever it's called thingy. Um, and we'll start the next episode when I'm ready to do that. Okay. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.